Hello YouTube, it's Krosama, and here we have today is the Geon Ultron, which will be a pose video. What the hell do you think you're doing? What are you, what are you talking about? You leave for months without any pose videos. Then you come back, you make a pose video, and you expect us to just go ahead and ignore that you've been gone for so long. Uh, I don't know what to say, Steve. I, I was pretty busy, had a lot of things going, did a lot of traveling. That's okay. Go ahead and make your pose video. But you better not miss any more. Uh, you're right, Steve. I, I promise I won't miss any more. I'll, I'll be pretty consistent from now on. Thank you, Crow. Thank you. Okay, so back to the video. A bitch. Did, you said something, Steve? No, 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 I didn't say anything. You sure? I, I, I could have sworn I heard you say something. No, 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 no. It wasn't me. All right, all right, my bad, my bad. Okay, so anyways, let's go ahead and move on to the pose video. Uh, now, before I actually get into all the different poses, uh, let me go ahead and, and just extend the question. Are these pose videos something you really enjoy? Um, if you do enjoy the pose videos, definitely let me know in the comments section below. Um, I have took a little bit of leave of absence um, just to go ahead and kind of, you know, recharge myself and get re-motivated. Um, but overall, you know, I definitely enjoy these pose videos. And if I do have a quite a bit of uh, individuals that do like them as well then I'll go ahead and keep making them and during this review I will be using these build hands now these are the ones that have more of a uh, edge to them uh, so they're basically used for you know mostly Gundams or uh, kind of like grunt suits um, so I decided to go ahead and use them they have like the closed fists the open hands and then ones you can put accessories in so I'm just gonna mainly use the ones that um, you know have the open hands and the clothes and then the ones that have a uh, slot in it for you know basically accessories uh, those will be the ones that actually come with the uh, the GN uh, Ultron so uh, uh, just be wary of that, and if you really enjoy the poses with these type of hands, you can definitely go ahead and pick this up for a very cheap price. So the rules are still very simple, you know, three basic poses. Uh, the gist of this is to go ahead and give you some ideas, so that way when you are posing your Gunpla, uh, maybe you might not do the exact same pose, but you kind of have more of an idea of uh, what kind of, you know, articulation and, lim and, and limits that this kit can really be put into. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the first pose. And here's the first pose. Um, I chose this one because I, I think it's pretty awesome uh, whenever it appeared in the anime uh, for the first time, kind of just like stood in the mountain and I thought it was fairly iconic. So I decided I want to really go ahead and just capture that you know moment once again. Uh, the one thing I can say is that you know you could either choose to keep the wings kind of more spread out. Uh, I just went ahead and adjusted it to where it's kind of like almost like half mass, uh, not like all the way up. And then you're gonna just angle the little dragon arms kind of down a little bit. Um, so you're gonna angle well, down and to the sides. Uh, try and bring the, uh, the little wolf and tiger heads up. Uh, just kind of give it a little bit more of an uh, intimidation kind of pose. And if you have like some of the little effect rocks uh, as of right here, definitely it's gonna be uh, used so you can go ahead and, I don't know, maybe make a diorama or uh, it'll just look pretty dope if you have this on your shelf with the little rocks around it. Um, but overall, I think this is a pretty, you know, cool pose, and if I wasn't always using these rocks, um, I'll probably go ahead and keep it with the rocks, to be honest. Uh, or maybe I could go ahead and sacrifice at least one, and then just buy another pair. But other than that, let's go ahead and move on to the next pose. And here is the next pose. Uh, I went ahead and just tried something uh, that I, I usually think is pretty cool. Uh, I don't know, man. Like I think of a lot of Dragon Ball Z when it comes to these kind of more super robot looking uh, mobile suits. Um, and this one was no exception. So I just thought of like, hey, you know, what would like Yamcha or Tien kind of look like when they're fighting? Um, this is kind of just what I thought of. And it's definitely a martial arts mobile suit. Uh, it's, you know, definitely a a hand-to-hand -hand combat 
dragon wielding uh, mobile suit. So I thought it looked pretty cool. Uh, this is something that I just I have a personal preference for. Um, so it's more or less like it's throwing the dragon out to go ahead and try and stun the enemy. But it's going to follow up with that punch uh, right there from the right fist. Uh, overall, I mean, I, I think it looks good. So if you also think it's a pretty cool looking uh, pose, I mean, I definitely uh, entertain you to go ahead and try it. If not, I mean, definitely try something you know on your own. But I think ultimately with the wings kind of like more spread out like that, uh, you're definitely going to have more of a uh, dynamic and expressive looking pose. So that's pretty much it for this one. Let's go ahead and move on to that third and final pose. Okay, and here is the last pose. Uh, basically what I wanted to do is uh, just give it a really dynamic looking pose with the tiger and the wolf attached to the hands. Um, so I just, obviously I went with the dashing. I, I couldn't really think of much else except for having like maybe both of them directly in front of the body. Uh, kind of like as if they were shooting, you know, like flames out of the hands. Um, I really just couldn't think of too much else without, you know, having to go back and, uh, you know, reference the anime. So... I decided to go ahead and stick with this. Now, if you do like, uh, you know, basically using the tiger or the wolf, um, I think this may be a pretty good pose. Um, it may not be the best one, but uh, kind of like attaching it with uh, some nice little effect parts. I think it's going to go ahead and look a little bit better uh, than just having it by itself. So this kind of like looks as if it's just busting out of the side of a mountain or, um, you know, busting through a meteor or, or something of the sort. So if this is kind of like your cup of tea, I would definitely recommend you, you know, trying your hand at it. Uh, if not, maybe make up something else on your own and, you know, definitely share with me uh, maybe an Instagram. If you want, you can go ahead and tag me in some of these uh, posts of, you know, different poses of this kit. So... If you're not, um, you know, already following me on Instagram, I definitely recommend you to uh, to do that. It's uh, just basically Krosama on Instagram. You can definitely uh, click on my page, and you can follow the link on the top where the banner is. Uh, but definitely, if you do decide to go ahead and pose your uh, Ultron, you know, tag me into it. I would love to go ahead and check out all the different poses you guys can go ahead and uh, pull off. Uh, so that's pretty much about it. And uh, once again, definitely let me know in the comment section below if like these pose videos are something you really like. If it definitely gives you uh, some sort of inspiration and if so uh, you know I, I'm definitely happy I can go ahead and do that and I will continue on making these videos uh, but that's pretty much about it for me guys definitely thank you for watching and once again I'll be seeing y'all in the next video bye bye